Hello friends, today we'll learn about evaporation. What's up buddy? Ooh, you have a class test about evaporation. Let me make it easier for you. As you know, matter exists in three different states, solid, liquid, or gas. In the process of evaporation, matter changes from a liquid to a gas. Scientists have proven that the water bodies like oceans, sea, lakes, and rivers provide approximately 90% of the moisture in the atmosphere via evaporation. Evaporation is an important part of the water cycle. Heat from the sun empowers the process of evaporation. It absorbs moisture from soil as well as the oceans and lakes. The water level will decrease as it is exposed to the solar energy. Although the level of water depreciates due to evaporation, the escaped water molecules do not vanish. They stay in the atmosphere, affecting the amount of moisture in the air. Areas with high temperatures and large water bodies are usually very humid due to this. Once water evaporates, it also helps in formation of clouds. Then the clouds release the moisture as snow or rain. The liquid water drops falls to earth again to be evaporated. The same cycle starts all over again and the process continues. Hmm, you know, there are certain factors which affect evaporation. They are temperature. Increasing temperature increases the rate of evaporation. With the increase in temperature, more amount of particles get enough kinetic energy to change into vapor state. Wind. You must have seen that clothes dry at a faster rate during windy days. This is because with the increase in wind speed, the air particles move away from the wind, which in turn decreases the amount of vapor from the atmosphere. Thus, increasing the wind speed increases the rate of evaporation. Humidity. We all know that air can hold water up to a certain amount. If the amount of water in the atmosphere is high, then the rate of evaporation will automatically decrease. Therefore, decreasing the humidity increases the rate of evaporation. Surface area. Increasing the surface area increases the rate of evaporation also. Hmm, some examples of evaporation are salt production, drying of clothes, crystallization, etc. Let me show you something. Salt water is captured in shallow ponds and allowed to evaporate by means of the solar energy and wind energy. During this process, water evaporates and a salt bed forms on the bottom of the pond. The salt is harvested, washed, screened, and packaged. This is how salt is made with the help of evaporation. Now, you know a lot about evaporation. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.